Hey, this is UFO Buster Radio and your host, Manny Moorricker. This is a UFO report, which is not about a UFO report. I just had to throw it out there. There was no episode yesterday because the only thing that was happening in ufology worth talking about hadn't happened yet. It was actually airing 9 p.m. Central in the United States as part of History Channel's, you know, UFO move to have a series out called Project Blue Book. And unfortunately, yeah, so the episode would have been recorded before that. And besides, you know, uh, NASA finding new exoplanets, there was nothing else to talk about. I'm not going to talk about no damn exoplanets. I've had it with that. I mean, what's the use of finding all these damn planets? You're not going to do shit with it. I'm just saying. And maybe they will. I don't know. I'm just talking shit because that's what I do. This is UFO report number 172. And today there is no UFO report either. I mean, I scoured stuff. I was looking through the internet looking for sightings and reports, nothing caught my eye except for the fact that people are talking about Project Blue Book, the series, on History Channel. There is an article that's linked, linked, uh, I said linked. <laughs> that's linked in the description for you. And uh, it has, it's a lengthy article, number one. So if you want to read it, go ahead, check it out, click on it. But it makes a lot of good points about whether or not we should trust the History Channel and their ability to uh, talk about UFOs. That's uh, It was a fascinating take. And I'm just going to put this out there right now. The connection is kind of spotty, people. Shit may happen during this podcast. I guarantee you. Because it does not look good right now. But let's get into our news report. What a whopper indeed. I don't know if you've seen it already or you're thinking about it or you recorded it. If you're like me, you were kind of busy, you didn't get to see it. I put it in my DVR and I'm waiting to see it. But this article says, should you watch History Channel's UFO show? Well, not exactly a UFO show. It's the UFO show that everyone's talking about. Nope, they're not really talking about George Sukulos and uh, ancient aliens because you know what? It was aliens. It was aliens. No, they're talking about Project Blue Book, which stars the father of ufology. Well, not in person, but an actor playing the father of ufology. And that is uh, Dr. Hynek. Well, shit. Here's Here's an article you really should read. Number one, they don't take the side of History Channel. They're not kissing their ass in any way. Instead, they're saying, how in the fuck did uh, George Sukulos maintain any kind of contact with the History Channel for 13 goddamn seasons? Almost 150 episodes, and this person is saying, how in the fuck did they not get rid of this guy? This is true stories, no fuck givens. Uh, they, they really don't give a damn. They basically said, uh, I don't understand why he's consulting uh, as a producer on this show, because he is so conspiracy laden and was unidentified and alien to them. Yeah, that's what that's that's what happened. But then he started getting what he called credible reports from people that he felt were credible individuals, people who were in law enforcement, in the military. These are the people who he thought were definitely not fucked up in the head. Dr. Heineck, you did, you did. But then he had to question other people in science and found that there were people in the science community that were hush-hush about it, but they believed the fuck out of UFOs too. It was this constant discovery on his part that moved him away for aliens, period. And that's where we're, that's where we're fucked up in a fork in the road. That's where we're smacking our foreheads against the uh, proverbial wall because we can't seem to get past that to at least have the majority of folks that uh, have some kind of uh, two cells in their gray matter to rub together to basically say, yeah, there is aliens out there somewhere. 
fuck, give me a break. You don't even have to say that you saw a motherfucker flying in a UFO and just say that it's highly possible and even probable that there's some form of fucking alien somewhere that's not coming from your country on the planet Earth. I don't understand why that's so fucking hard. That's This is what kills me about ufology. This is what kills me about doing this podcast. Hey, I didn't say that. I love this podcast. Some of the feedback on Twitter that I've seen, like from Tommy Voltaire, Tommy Voltaire said it was a bit dramatic, but they do list the facts of the case. Extremely important because when you look at all the promos for the Project Blue Book series, they actually put in there based on true events. That is important for ufology. That fact there alone, it's important. Now, do you think people are going to miss that shit? Yeah, they're going to fucking miss it. They're not going to give two fucks about that. They're just looking for some kind of nice show to watch. Something with some good special effects to replace the X-Files. But fuck, if you know someone is watching it, let them know. Hey, did you know that was based on true events, you rubber dicker? UFO guy on Twitter is on board. He says, hey, I would have tuned into this shit anyway, but the fact that it's Project Blue Book, and it's about Dr. Hynek, and it could open the doors for ufology in so many ways, I'm all about it. Let's do it. Let's talk about this thing. Let's get the information out there, and let's really find out what's going on. Now, I'm not, (laughs) I'm going to say this. It is very possible that we just lost a few minutes of the podcast because I just saw a little yellow message flash before my eyes. Oh, you can't write this stuff. I don't understand why this happens. I don't understand. I have to go back and listen to it. But, you know, in general, this is what I want to say. Like I said about legacy episodes, if you are new to the situation in ufology and you're first trying to discover what's going on historically, this is a good place for you to start. What I recommend going on the internet and reading it because it is not going on right. So the podcast is trying to reconnect again. So we probably lost a fucking bunch of minutes here just now. I can't do this. This is ridiculous. Somebody, I, it's Miller time. I got to go buy a beer somewhere. But anyway, like I would just say, I'm going to check it out tonight. You should too. Uh, it's a good intro into the topic of ufology. Hopefully, we will get some good information out of the incidents that they cover out of Project Blue Book. You know, they're not, they're not going to do all of them, but they'll give us a good, rounded view into what that project was about and who Dr. Heinick was at the time that these incidents were being investigated. I'm going to just uh, throw, throw this one on to the end here, cut it out, time to bring it to a close, because... This uh, podcast app is fucking up. I can see it already. Hey, listen, I thank you for listening. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm not going to say anything else because I'll probably get cut off, but uh, here's the outro. Peace. Peace.